first thing I want to say on this question is I've tried to make the scale the same as on the original paper, which I believe the, um, the distance from A to B is 7.9 centimeters, there or thereabouts. So um, on the printout I've made, I've tried to make it that. And on my screen, I've made my electronic ruler so that it's 7.9. If yours is slightly different and you might want to measure it, then you know your answer will vary slightly, but the process will be this, still be the same. We're told um, we've got positions town A and B, and Lucy's house is nearer to town A than to town B, and her house is exactly 50 miles from town B. On the scale diagram, we have to show all the possible positions of Lucy's house. Well, for it to be nearer, we want to find the point that's exactly, well, the, sorry, not the points, the line from, uh, that, where um, all the points are exactly halfway between A and B. And this will be pretty much halfway in between four, but then it's actually going to be this line that extends from it. It's actually the perpendicular bisector. It also helps, I think, to connect A and B to show that more clearly. So this line is going to split it into two. Here we're nearer to A, here we're nearer to B. Um, and there's going to be a right angle here, which is why it's called perpendicular. And actually, it splits the line into two, which is why it's called the bisector. Now, you can't just draw that line like I have. We're asked to show all our construction lines. So we have to use a pair of compasses to draw this perpendicular bisector. And I'm going to show you how. So we get a, this is a pair of compasses because it has, it has these two little arms to it. And you put one point on A. Okay, you could do B, but I'm going to start with A. You then extend it beyond halfway. Okay, I'm going to extend it to here. Then draw an arc. This shows all the points that are a certain distance away. It's got to be beyond halfway. I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute, but this doesn't have to be exactly what I did. So all of these points are the same distance away from A. Now we keep the, the width of the compass exactly the same and move the point onto B. And then do exactly the same again, draw an arc. Now these points are exactly the same distance away from B. There's a really important point where they meet, or two points in fact, here and here. These are the same distance away from A as B. Okay, they must be. And here as well. What we get is our two isosceles triangles. And it actually follows, I'm not going into loads of detail on this, it follows that if you connect these up, then you will split your line into two. I'm doing it electronically, so just bear with me as I move this. But you just get your ruler and you draw a line going through both. So that's pretty good. So that is a perpendicular bisector and it shows all the points there at the same distance from A as B. Which means that... Um, actually, we want to go for them to be closer to A, we need to be going this side over here. Now, when I when I teach this, I tend to say, right, you are uh, you connect. Well, if you don't normally often you're perpendicular by setting a line. So the line's already there, but you've got your line. You then do what I did with the compass and you create like a little bug, sort of this uh, angry bug. And then you just need to get rid of it by putting a line right through it. That's how that's how I teach it. Okay, we're now um, we've now done that. So we've got all the points that are nearer to town A than to town B, but we've also got this fact that the house has to be exactly fifty miles from town B, and we've got a scale over here. One centimeter represents ten miles. So to go from centimeters to miles, we have to times by ten. And to go the opposite way, we're going to divide by ten. And that's what we're going to do here. So to go from 50 miles to centimeters, I need to divide by 10, and it's going to be 5 centimeters. So now I'm going to get my compass at exactly 5 centimeters. It was close to that before, but not quite. And then I'm going to put the point back on B. And all of these points here will be five centimeters from B. 
and this actually gives the line. So it has to be it has to be below this bisector, and it has to be on this line. So it's going to be all of these points here. It's got to make it really clear. Oops. This should all be done with a pencil, by the way. Hey, on the diagram, show all the possible positions of Lucy's house. Just make it really clear. Um, to be fair, probably in an exam question, I'd, I'd do everything in pencil. In the final bit, I'd probably get a pen just to make my final answer like obvious. So there we go. We've had to do quite a lot here. We've had a scale scale drawing. We have to realize to draw a perpendicular bisector, then remember to do you know how to do that. Then realize to draw a circle because um because that is what gives you points that are a certain distance away from from another point. And then use those two things together to get this purple line. I've talked about the perpendicular bisector, about why it works geometrically a little bit anyway. It's actually because you create a rhombus and then you kind of um the rhombuses, diagonals bisect each other. That's a geometrical fact. But uh, another way to just remember it is to kind of think about this bug that we can get rid of. Okay, good work.